Today we're going to try and tune Kevin's Mustang with a LS motor and 88 millimeter turbo. It's a brand new setup with a whole bunch of really nice things on it. Force inductions, 88 millimeter turbo. I was actually here a few days ago. Actually, I cut the dyno session early because it seemed like something was off to me. The power seemed really low. So I took it home, checked over some things, kind of made some posts online, and basically the entire internet told him everything was normal, okay, just turn it up. Even the manufacturer of the turbo told him to turn it up. Myself, his engine builder, and actually Matt at Sloppy Mechanics were all on the same page that something seemed wrong. Kevin did find some suspect issues. So now it's kind of the moment of truth to see if the power number is gonna go up at the same boost levels. Either way, uh, I guess the plan is to turn it up and see what's gonna happen. Keeping our fingers crossed that the issues he found will bring the power where they're supposed to be so I'll feel a little more comfortable. The last thing I wanna do is send the rods out of this thing because something's wrong. So I'm uh, gonna get it all set up on the dyno and get started. All right, we've done some low boost stuff and it seems promising, but this is a true uh, apples to apples, both same dome pressure from the changes and then now today. Yeah, I let off early and rev it a lot quicker. Like I was like, oh, it's definitely making more power. I mean, 965 yeah. 600. The last time I, I don't want to hit the limiter again, so we'll do that the same run again. Well, there's really no need. I'll look at the log and see it if I need to change it. It was about to make some fucking power. Yeah. It felt, felt like a whole new car. <laughs> I heard it out, man. That sounds good. Yeah, it sounded, it, everything came to life. Check out, uh, just make sure converter's happy. Yeah, I'll check it out. 170 horsepower right there. Straight bananas. So 170 horsepower gain, but the entire internet said that everything was normal and right. All right, gonna try the same run, except I'm not gonna let out early this time, hopefully, and put a little more timing in it. Uh, with the timing that's currently in it is all that it wanted last time, but now the plugs look significantly different and it looks even softer. So I'm gonna try a little timing. Yeah, so far things are things are looking up. So I'm definitely glad that we decided to stop and figure out if my assumption or our assumption was right, I guess, and it, it was. Well, everything goes to a, like a 99 or a 98 for me. So yeah, that's damn. That picked out a lot more than I was expecting. It sounded good. Too. I mean, it makes sense though, based off the way the plugs look. It sounded like it had to get over a hump too, almost. Oh, uh, you're probably hearing the converter. Is that the converter coupling down? Like it, yeah, it'll flare past and then it'll kind of grab it and then it kind of pauses and then then it kind of takes off. So it's. That was just timing, right? Yeah. So about. What does that say? 50 horsepower on the dot. Oh shit, son. That's crazy. And this down here is just the way I loaded it up a little harder before I kind of let go of it. That's awesome. Uh, let's pull uh, seven and eight out again. All right, a little bit more boost this time. Yeah, it's crazy. Obviously, the boost must Wait, not have gone up. Can you something on that one? Oh, I tried to turn the boost up. Oh, I didn't hear something. I'm sorry. Oh, the target didn't even go up. What the hell? He forgot to turn the ignition off and on. I turned the ignition off and on twice. We sat here for an hour the first day trying to get Transvac to work. We decided to turn the ignition off and on. Which I did wow. two or three times. It's like you got the bastard dominator. We're going to have to do the uh, OCD, do it, do it twice, download the file, and verify that. Well, that's pretty good that 
without any changes it made exactly the same power <laughs> actually no i'm just a dipshit apparently i must have thought i turned the boost up but didn't God damn it joe yeah i blame me i was probably distracting you you fucking talking <laughs> i told you not to run i told you don't let him rush you i would have uh already fired me if i was you just kill me you want to go at five or ten? You're the fucking tuner. <laughs> it's your car. Act like it's your car. We got five. I mean, do you foresee something wrong? Yeah, I'd rather baby step into it. You're the boss. I'll, I'll listen to this guy. Whatever. Right, Fred, let's just get one of those plugs out. The new ones to take a look at it. Are you gonna try more boost for real this time? <laughs> like three psi intake yeah because he didn't um didn't put a bag of ace on that four six about the same 108 intake tip stayed the same Here's the last three runs. Just going up on dome pressure a little bit. Each one. Now I gotta see what the actual manifold pressure is. Alright, this thing's got a tiny motor in it, low compression, so we're being uh, pretty safe. But new car, new build, so I want to actually get it to the racetrack before breaking it. So this is hopefully be the last run, and then once we get it to actually start going down the track, then we can start turning up a little bit more. But uh, this, yeah, finding that extra power has changed everything. Now everything makes sense. Oh wow, that made more than I was expecting it to. Blue and green are the two most recent. We're gonna make one more run with a little bit more boost. And this is for sure gonna be the last one unless something weird happens. Fuck is that? Dude, it did something weird. Oh, you know what? I set up a boost safety. It, uh, God, I do that on every single car. God, to say that bitch was like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> you would think with how long I've been doing this that I would remember to turn that shit off. Yeah, it's definitely getting worse, whatever's going on with those things. So the goal was 1300 and we did it. 7300 RPM. Almost 1 or 2 percent? The, all the fueling, it's like dead nuts. So I'm super happy with that. Once it cools off, typical, let's let's pull a couple plugs out of it. The temp for an air to water intercooler I think is a little high. But it's probably, since it's mounted to the intake manifold, it's probably picking up some, some of the engine heat. 80 percent duty cycle. I'm calling it quits here. I'm gonna turn it up anymore, we'll do it at the track. Yeah. This one really good. I'll leave my phone ringing, bling, bling, bling. So I 
guess the main lesson we learned today is don't listen to everybody on the internet. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.